hey guys welcome back to my channel i am super excited for today's video as always today's video i am doing the ruby and cash jewelry organizer video this was a video that was not even planned for this week but i just purchased this item and i said i have to show everyone because you need it like you need this especially those who have a lot of jewelry and accessories and there's but so many jewelry small boxes that you can purchase for these items i wanted to show you this because i absolutely love it and i am super excited to share it with you guys but before i get into that review i would love to welcome all of my subscribers whether you are new or you've been rocking with me since the beginning so welcome back to my channel i'm so glad you are here if you didn't already know this channel is all about deals decor diys fashion thrifting and women empowerment i always like to end my video with a empowerment segment so make sure you stay until the end if you haven't already please do consider subscribing hit that notification bell that thumbs up and um yeah so let's get into today's video <music> So like I was saying, this video is a review video, so it's not going to be really, really long, but I definitely wanted to share with you guys the Ruby and Cash Jewelry Organizer. Um, it is a full length mirror that you guys are going to love because we love mirrors. <laughs> and inside of the mirror, it is a, it's just a heaven for jewelry organization. There's so much that you can put inside of this jewelry organizer and i cannot wait to show you and the best part of it all is that this was super inexpensive it was under 100 dollars it was actually only 79.99 and i honestly feel like this is worth at least 200 dollars and like i said i purchased it from target it sells out very very quickly so if you see it and you like it in this video please go to target call your target hold it and grab it because it is necessary for you to have this so i'm excited to show you i did the review um a couple days ago when i first purchased it because i was super excited about it so i'm going to go ahead and put that video up so let's get into the review the glass cleaner that I use when I do clean my mirrors I absolutely love this I think my main reason for loving it is the smell it's not too strong on my nose there's glass cleaners out there that oh my gosh when I spray it I cannot stand to be in the room um <laughs> for much longer um but this one has a softer scent to it um so I could definitely um use this and the foaming action i love and it works really well you know all together so spray away is the way to go so guys i forgot to put like a full segment of my husband putting the mirror together but it only took him 15 20 minutes max to put it together most of it was already put together so that was a big plus for me um so it's very easy to assemble here is the mirror and me i absolutely love it here it is like on the side so you can get like a side view of the side right here like i was saying it comes with a key um so if you have anything valuable in there you can lock it on the inside like you can lock it inside and if you have a key you can open it now if you don't have a key then I don't know what to tell you <laughs> but yeah you can lock this which i love this is what i thought was the key right here it's not um it's actually um just a knob a decorative knob but you do not want to like my husband said you want to just do it finger tight and not use like pliers or anything to tighten it but you don't want to strip um the inside of that so if you strip it, you won't be able to fit right in there. So don't want to strip it. And here is the bottom. And this so part right here is where you will open it. Um, I'll get into that in a minute. I'll open it up for you guys. The other side, it is the seam. 
the only difference it doesn't have the opening you only can open it on one side but everything else and the key you don't have like the key part right there but other than that everything else is the same so here it is oh let me show you the back here is the back these are for if you are to hang them on your wall i think you can hang it on your wall it says um i personally did not feel comfortable doing that because i just feel like it might strip the wall it might i don't know fall i don't know but this is the back there it has these little knob um wooden little things right there so that the mirror can be on a tilt and that's the bottom so open it for you guys so you guys can see what's on the inside and look the light it has led lights so if it is dark inside your room and you just want to get some jewelry out without waking up anybody by turning on the lights you can just use the led lights and the light is activated by this little part there see it's off when it's in and it's on when it's released so let's get in to this amazing jewelry holder i absolutely love this I did not put everything in here on purpose because I didn't want to pack it before I showed you guys um, what I'm going to use it for. So I just wanted you guys to really see how it looks and give you examples of how I'm going to, you know, put the jewelry, organize my jewelry and things in here like that. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to really see the overall um, mirror and jewelry organizer so let's get into let's get into okay it. so okay so up here is where you can keep your studded earrings i have some pearls there um of course like i said i didn't want to overpower and put all of my jewelry in here right now but once i do this video i will and i'll show you in pictures of how it looks when i have everything in here but i just wanted to give you an idea but this is where you keep your um little stud earrings here um and it's perfect because the light shines directly on here so it's really nice um i don't even know how many pairs you can get in here depending on how large the earrings are now if they are the smaller studs you can get like 30 to 50. Um, if they are like the real larger studded earrings, maybe about 30, 25, 30. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I love that. But what I love about this area, you can move it, right? And you can put your rings back here. I have like this costume ring back here. I don't really suggest that you put like your um, expensive rings and things um your rings back here more so than any other area because just in case you see how this closes just in case it touches the ring i don't want it to mess it up with scratches or anything it should not do that but just to be extra careful i necessarily is not going to put my expensive rings in here i just wanted to show you guys how it looks with like some of my costume jewelry but yeah, and you can get, as you can see, you can get a great amount of rings in here. So that's amazing. Here, you can hang up your necklaces. I just found this glitzy necklace laying around. I'm just like, let me show you guys this necklace on here. The only thing about this, it just picks up. Like, you see how it just, the little white marks, the little white dots, it just picks up little lint thingies. So, that's the only thing about this. And fingerprints. So, right below the earrings and the rings, you have the hooks here for your necklaces or anything that can really hang. I do suggest putting necklaces here. Um, but you could do whatever you want, right? Um, this is, I just found this like super glitzy necklace that I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, 
okay there you go show you guys how it looks the only thing about this part like you see like those white little specks it picks up it picks up like you see if you do lines and stuff like that um you'll see that on there um but for the most part it's not as bad as it looks on the camera in person you really can't see it but you see a camera can pick up everything <laughs> but yeah um I really love this for that and you can I love and I love that they do the necklaces um like they go up down up down um they spread it out so that it leaves for like the tangling it won't be tangled as much um so yeah I like that and yeah so it really works for long necklaces too let me back up some so you can see you can put like a really long necklace there down here, here are the necklaces you can add your perfumes sprays deodorants um whatever that will fit in this little compartment um here it's not that much space so you just have like this much like this you can see how much space you have to fit things on the inside of it um yes i'm going to be adding some of my um perfumes that will fit and some sprays here and yeah. right below the um, perfumes or whatever you use um, in that section, you can put like your nail polish. That works perfectly right there. It fits perfectly right there. So I love that. And below that, you can put like sunglasses, just a couple pairs so that you don't, you know, scratch up. That's perfect for that. I feel like this is amazing. I absolutely love this jewelry organizer and mirror. It is perfect and the price was amazing. Um, these are really, really cute. Two, there are little drawers. Um, I just have one lippy in there. And then here I have some of my hair hair pins um i have some manicure things there this one's empty for right now this is empty and i have like an extra soap in there so i absolutely love this and this was just one side can you imagine all the things that you can just fit alone on this one side this is like so crazy to me i absolutely love this this is so needed by like every woman who has a lot of accessories. And I'm so glad that I came across this. Um, let's go to the other side. At the bottom, um, here we go with the marks again. It's so weird how you can just see everything, but you know, me looking at it directly, you can't see it, but on the camera, it picks it up. <laughs> but anyway, right here, there's like a compartment. I just have uh, brushes that I um, haven't used yet. Um, so that I can get them out my room and out the bathroom until it's time to use them. So this fits perfectly there. And then going up, there are some more hooks that if you have more necklaces or you see I just have a bracelet hanging from there. Um, you can put some keychains, um, whatever. If you have like a wristlet, that'll be cute. You can put like wristlets here. Um, yeah, there the possibilities are endless for this, um, which I love it. Right here is the bar area where you see I have like a headband here. I have I love scarves. I'm not gonna be able to get a lot of scarves in here, but if I just had a couple I wanted to put in here, I can. Of course, you can't just put your what is it like your winter scarves like no you're not gonna do that sis you're not gonna put your winter scarves in here but you can just put like some dainty ones uh if you wear it on your head your neck your purse you can put those inside of this um i have this bracelet here really cute and i have a scrunch a scrunchie here so I just wanted to show you an option of what you can, different options of what you can put on this bar. And of course, the the possibilities are endless. So yeah. And up here, you can, of course, put so many different things. But I chose to put drop earrings here, especially the ones with the hooks, 
because they fit perfectly in this little section. So um, that works perfect for in, in this section. And this is how this side looks, which is, it's so amazing to me, everything that you can use this for. I absolutely love this. I think I said that a million times by now, but you guys have no idea how long I was looking for a really nice jewelry organizer. I have cute little jewelry um, boxes and things like that but this is perfect it's sleek it's big enough so you can see your you know your entire outfit um but it's dainty enough to fit in little areas so i absolutely love it it said it is 47 inches so that's great and i like um you guys probably seen before i do have a um, larger mirror that i had to have um we put that in the living room and um we're gonna put this in my area of the bedroom so i just wanted to bring it out here like in a hallway area so that you guys can get an idea of how it looks yeah so when we do our bedroom bill we'll do it um, I'll show you um, how I have everything, how I organized it for me. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Here's the latch right here. So if you had the key, it will lock. Um, I am not fooling with that key today in here because I do not want to lock my stuff in here. And so I'm just not going to touch the key. Oh, this is that magnetic part here. So when it closes, it's like a soft close. Um, yeah, so it's just like really, really worth it. And it was only, like I said, how much? $80. And I feel as though this should be worth like 150 at least. But soft clothes. So I really love this. And you guys definitely need this. No, this is not a sponsored video. But... I just like to help my girls out, right? I absolutely love this. So guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed everything. Um, if you love this item, if you have one, I wanna hear it in the comments below. Um, what was your favorite um, part of the organizer? Um, yeah, let me know all of that below. I would love to hear your feedback. Um, but before I do let you go, I want to leave you with some encouragement for this week. And today's empowerment segment is redirect your focus. What you focus on is what you will see. So if you constantly focus on the negativity and the negative things around you, that's what you'll see. You'll be angry. You'll be irritable. Everything is going to annoy you. Everyone is going to annoy you. Um, but if you learn to focus on the littlest things that are positive in your life, you will begin to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so just focus on the positive in life. Forget about the negative things and enjoy the rest of your week so if you haven't already please consider subscribing and i will see you in my next video bye